The American investor William Ackman, known by many as Bill, is one of the most well-known hedge fund managers in the world. His contrarian style of investing sees him regularly in the press making outlandish bets in the market, and more often than not, finds himself swimming against the tide. Ackman, however, considers himself to be more of an activist investor, buying up large stakes in companies and trying to obtain board seats in order to effect change. He's best known for two bets, the first against Herbalife, which failed, and the second when earlier this year, Ackman hedged his portfolio by purchasing credit protection, which ensured the firm against the huge market losses, earning his clients almost $3 billion in 30 days, which was dubbed the Big Short 2. This came after Michael Burry initially pulled off the Big Short against the US housing market, which you would have learned about if you've seen the film. But who is Bill Ackman, and how did he earn $2.6 billion in one month by betting against the market? Here's how it happened. Following his MBA from Harvard Business School, Ackman, along with his fellow graduate David Berkowitz, founded Gotham Partners, an investment firm which gained notoriety for teaming up with Lucadian National Corporation to bid for the Rockefeller Center in 1995. Despite not tabling the winning bid, it attracted attention from investors which led to the firm raising their AUM to $500 million in 1998. The success of the firm was short-lived, as they decided to invest in a loss-making golf course which they rebranded to Gotham Golf. They then piled up debt to continue acquiring more courses, but in order to pay off the debt, they tried to merge the golf company with a real estate company to use its cash. This was blocked in court and the firm were left with little choice but to wind down their fund, returning money to investors, and closing the business. After successfully founding his new business, Pershing Square Capital Management, Ackman had a new investment idea in May 2012, Herbalife, a global multi-level marketing corporation that develops and sells dietary supplements. The firm are well known as being a multi-level marketing business, whereby their products are sold by individuals who don't earn a salary. Ackman, however, believed that they were nothing more than a sophisticated pyramid scheme. He shorted the company's stock and between 2012 to 2018, lost between $500 million and a $1 billion as the share price continued to rise, traveling in the wrong direction for Ackman. The documentary film Betting on Zero was even released, giving a detailed account into the debacle. Whilst he was shorting the company, Ackman even spent $50 million on a PR campaign to try and hurt the stock price, which is frowned upon by other well-known investors, including the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. Buffett suggests that this strategy is similar to taking fire insurance out against somebody else's house and then trying to burn their house down, and it isn't how he would invest. In February 2020, Ackman was concerned that the markets were not truly pricing in the effects of COVID-19 and feared a market correction. He initially considered liquidating his portfolio to hold cash only, but instead he bought downside protection or insurance on a market drop through a credit default swap. He hedged against the corporate debt market in February, closing his position at the lowest possible point in March to generate returns of $2.6 billion in 30 days. In true Ackman fashion, he even appeared on CNBC on the 18th of March to push his agenda as an activist investor, suggesting that hell is coming and that Trump needed to shut down the country. This would only benefit his short position. Once Ackman realized his profits, he did what every good investor would do and reinvested the returns, buying up his old favorites such as Starbucks, Hilton Hotels, and Berkshire Hathaway, among others suggesting that they were available at bargains of a lifetime. And that's how it happened.